It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 25th of February. I'm James Spann. A winter storm of big snow for North Alabama today. High confidence in the snow for North Alabama. The tricky part, dividing the rain-snow. Where's that rain-snow line? So much to talk about, so let's go. We'll start with the big picture this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view. The contours on top of that are at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Classic look. The northern branch of the jet stream delivering cold air. The southern branch with a big wave over Texas, the old split flow. And that's often how winter storms can indeed happen here in the deep south. That uh, wave in Texas will spin up a surface low in the Gulf of Mexico a little later this morning. Uh, this is where we stand now early, early this morning. This is before 5. Big snows falling in Dallas-Fort Worth, Shreveport. Texarkana, Monroe, Louisiana, snow beginning in the Mississippi Delta. And uh, that will be expanding and moving in here later today. The Weather Service has made no changes in their warnings. Um, and I think that's a good call. The winter storm warning includes Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, and points north. There is a winter weather advisory for three counties to the south, Sumter, Green, and Hale, where some lighter snow is possible there. If you're traveling, there's the big picture. You can pick out the swath of snow all the way from Dallas up to the Virginia Beach Tidewater area of the state of Virginia. This is the WPC outlook, the uh, chance of at least four inches of snow today. And uh, they've got a high risk uh, centered right on uh, Gadsden and Cedar Bluff and Fort Payne, that red circle you see there. But clearly, there is a very, very good chance we'll see some big snows for uh, North Alabama uh, today. Uh, this is a higher, more detailed look at those probabilities. And again, this is the chance of snow accumulating greater than four inches. And again, the tight gradient is right along Interstate 20. And I think that's a great call. And there's a low chance almost all the way down to Clanton. I don't think you see anything down there but rain. Uh, you know, and that's been the forecast for days. And again, we'll show you a lot of maps and we'll talk about it in detail. This, let me just show you our public forecast. This is what we're put out there. This is coming from us, me. Uh, the big numbers, US 278, three to six. Isolated amounts to eight inches. Birmingham Metro, one to three. Uh Anniston, Tuscaloosa on the line. Here's a look at the uh, National Weather Service snow projection. They're farther south than I am. Uh, they've got that, that purple zone there. That's two to four. That includes Tuscaloosa and Anniston. Uh, and they've got uh, less than one inch all down to uh, Forkland and Jemison, Mellow Valley, and Lake Wadawi. And look, we look, these lines are going to change. You know that. Here's the timing. And again, this is a weather service in Birmingham graphic. And uh, they've got the, the green line, the rain snow line at noon. And uh, you can see the precipitation uh, based on what they've got here beginning in Birmingham about 1030. Tuscaloosa about 10. Anniston Gadsden about 1130. And I do think for a lot of people, it's going to start as rain. Even in the heavy snow areas, it could start as rain for a brief time. Then a quick changeover. Let's dig into the modeling here. This is the GFS. This is uh, valid at 12 noon today. And again, this is about 18,000 feet up. Northern branch, big trough over eastern Canada, the eastern part of the continent, a cold trough, and a very intense uh, short wave uh, coming through the Arklatex region. GFS, 6 o'clock this evening. Man, is that classic or what? Low moving inland from the Gulf of Mexico, little east of Panama City Beach. Big snows, North Mississippi, North Alabama, North Georgia. Midnight tonight, the surface low moves rapidly northeast. It's east of Charleston. Snow event beginning to wind down. Snow should be ending from west to east uh, tonight, anywhere from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. How much? Let's look at the short-range ensemble forecast plume viewer. This is for Birmingham. Now, you've got some members for Birmingham that are over five inches. A lot of the members are in the three and four inch range for Birmingham. The mean is there down there between one and two inches. But again, it's right on the line. At 30 miles is going to make a huge difference, as you'll see. This is coming from the NAM. 
Again, Interstate 20 seems to be the southern edge of the big snows. GFS, same thing. You see there it's got Gadsden at 7 inches, Coleman 7 inches. That's a little spot of almost one foot near Piedmont. And then you could go down to just below Oxford, the, the southern end of Calhoun County, and have a cold rain. I mean, that's this is suggesting literally you could go, but you could go between a foot of snow in, in the northern end of the county and rain to the south. And we're not forecasting a foot of snow there. Is it possible? Yeah, we, maybe. We're, we're using eight inches on the high end. Uh, this is from WPC. This is the 75 percentile graphic. The new one, and uh, again, it's obviously got the big numbers along Highway 278. Uh, it's a little farther south. This is uh, in the 75 percentile. It's got Tuscaloosa with three inches, Aniston with five. So again, you, just numbers are all over the board in the southern extent of this thing. And again, this is our public forecast. And look, I don't care who you are. If you're Albert Einstein or Country Boy Eddie, you, you, you can't draw that line. Nobody knows. I mean, nobody. Anybody can guess, and yeah, if you guess long enough, somebody's going to get it right. Uh, but we know roughly where it's going to be, and, and really, that's what you do, and, and that is a rough approximation. But again, I stress in the southern end of this thing, you can literally go 30 miles from five inches of snow to a cold rain, and that line is going to be very close to Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, or maybe to the south of there. Uh, but the, the high confidence is the big snow over North Alabama. It's, it's going to be a big one. If you want guaranteed snow, and that's a guarantee, there's no guarantee in this business, but if you want a very high chance of big snow, uh, you want to be in the north along Highway 278. All right, let's move on quickly. Uh, tomorrow, everything's out of here. And understand, we'll be you know well down in the 20s tomorrow morning, and, and slushy stuff is going to freeze. Travel problems persist into uh, tomorrow morning. And then by mid to late morning, we go above freezing, we should wind up in the middle 40s tomorrow. Conditions improve greatly. Friday, a little secondary surge of cold air comes in at 1042 high near St. Louis. So Friday, the high dropping back to about 40 will be dry. Saturday, as the weekend begins, should be a pretty decent day. Partly sunny with a high in the low 50s. Sunday, moisture begins to come back. We'll mention maybe a little light rain in scattered spots. Not exactly a rainy day. High, low to mid 50s. Go to uh, Monday, looks wet, periods of rain likely, noticeably warmer. We'll be in the 60s, and this is Tuesday. Got, got a surface low gathering west of the state, and look at the southerly flow here. In fact, the GFS is printing a high of 71 for Tuesday. We go from a snow day today to 70 early next week. And then this is uh, Wednesday of next week, big trough axis over the central plain states, and a surface low is going to be passing north of the state. There might be a risk for strong storms in there. Again, this is midday Wednesday, but it looks like a chance of rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe some strong storms Tuesday night or Wednesday. We'll just define, refine that later. This is the end of next week. The trough shifts over to the eastern U.S. It's progressive. And more colder air drops in. Temperatures coming off the ensembles. Very cold for the next few days. But look at there's that big spike of warmth next week uh, up in the 60s. And again, the deterministic GFS is showing 71 on Tuesday. Numbers come back down beyond that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Notes in the blog. Due to the winter storm, we won't have an afternoon video. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. And just stay with us on ABC 3340s. The thing cranks up. We'll be on the air with you throughout the day and tonight. See you tomorrow morning on the next video here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.